Hi ladies, today I'm recreating a makeup look that you have seen me wearing in my last couple of videos. You said that my makeup looked really nice, it was natural looking, youthful looking. So today I'm going to show you the exact products that I use to create that look. And actually this has become my easy everyday makeup go-to look. This makeup look is super simple, so let's get into it. I feel like I'm back in kindergarten wearing my little barrettes, but I just wanted to get my hair off of my face. So I have went ahead and I have put all my skincare on and I stopped at my moisturizer. So the product that I've been wearing on my face lately, technically it's not really even a foundation. It's by Elta MD and it is their tinted moisturizer. And I love this because, first of all, I do have some redness in my face. You can tell that I have mild rosacea. I don't really like wearing makeup every day, but at least wearing this, it kind of just blurs out any redness in my skin, gives me a nice, even complexion, and I get the added benefit of sunscreen. Normally, I would not wear moisturizer under this because this is a tinted moisturizer, so you can use it as a moisturizer but my skin is still feeling really dry because we still have the furnace on, it's still dry in the house. So I just put an added layer of moisture on. So this does come just as a moisturizer with SPF. If you don't want it tinted, it's a great product and I've been using it now for a couple of years. So I basically just put one pump back of my hand and then I just dot it all over my face. And this is more than enough. I still have some left over. And then I just use my fingers and I just rub it in. It just glides on the skin so easily. You don't have to put a primer on and I can just feel my skin just sucking the moisture right in. So pretty good coverage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the rest on. So I even use it sort of as a primer for my eyelids and then I just go underneath the jawline and make sure that it's, uh, you know, you don't see it. Now I do usually give my face two to three minutes just to kind of, you know, absorb it in and uh, dry because the next thing that I'm going to do is go in with a powder and a powder, powder product so I don't want any issues. Okay, so it's feeling pretty dry. It's not tacky, so that's good. So then you don't have to do this, but I just want to use this product up and it is the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation. It's a powder foundation. I'll sometimes put it on with the ball wand brush, but today I'm going to use my little Beauty Blender uh, Powder Pocket Puff. I love this for applying my powder. So I just rub it in there, picks up some product, and then I just take my time and tap it into my skin. This just kind of, I don't know, it, it seems to set my moisturizer, but because I have oily skin, oily skin that's dry in the winter, um, I don't know, it just seems to, uh, I like the look, it just evens everything out. And I even go over my eyes. So you can see nice coverage. I could stop there if I wanted to, but because I'm looking at snow and we have a snowstorm coming tomorrow, I wanna pretend that I'm in the Caribbean under a palm tree. So now I just go in with the Cosmetics bronzer. I rotate between this bronzer and the Charlotte Tilbury one. I do have the Physician's Formula one, but I've never liked that one. It just, I don't know, it just didn't work for me. This one has kind of a smell of coconuts, which I sometimes don't like, but it's not too bad and it seems to go away after, you know, um, you've applied it to your face. So I'm going in with the It Cosmetics Ball Wand Brush and everything will be listed below the video. I'm using it just to add color to my face, not to contour. And I just like swirl it all around. I can definitely smell the coconut. And then just bring it down my uh, neck. So next I'm going to do my eyebrows and I rotate between the it Cosmetics Brow Power and the Charlotte Tilbury um, eyebrow pencil. I have to tell you, I do prefer the it Cosmetics pencil. So I was so sad yesterday 
because Nordstrom had decided to close all of their Canadian stores. So last night I found out about 6 p.m. So I was frantically online on their website because they were supposed to shut it down right away. Because I had $350 in gift cards that I had received uh, for Christmas and I wanted to spend it because they aren't, you aren't allowed to use them in the States. So I managed to buy a, another pair of pajamas that I like by Nordstrom. They didn't have my size, but I went the size down because I figured, you know, as I'm losing weight, uh, I'll fit into them. I bought a, um, a nice blue open front cardigan for the spring by, I think, Castellon or Castellon or Halogen. And I bought another pair of Tory Burch sandals. But I'll show you everything I bought um, towards the end of the month when I do my haul video. But I'm so sad because I love shopping at Nordstrom's. But it's so difficult in Canada because shipping costs a fortune. Like anytime we have to ship anything through Canada Post or even like, you know, one of the courier companies, it's an arm and a leg. So... I guess it's just a sign of the times that, um, you know, people like to do online shopping, but I just feel so sad for the people that are losing their jobs. I think it's like 2,500 people are going to be out of work. And I also really enjoyed going. I'd usually go maybe once a year for my bra fittings, and then they had a nice restaurant, which I enjoyed going to. It was just such a beautiful store. I mean, I didn't buy a lot from it, but I'm hoping that they continue to offer Nordstrom's to us through Border Free, which is how I get my stuff from Chico's. And they're just, I think, like a, an agency that deals with cross-border shopping. So whenever I go on Chico's, it's, everything is in Canadian dollars. So all the duties and uh, duties are in, included in the price. And if I return something, I get the duties back, which I appreciate. So now I'm just going to go in with some blush. That was sad. I'm just using the It Cosmetics Sweet Cheeks one. It's kind of a peachy one. And it's very pigmented, so a little bit of this goes a long way. So I've been ordering a lot of new makeup for spring. So I plan on doing a spring makeup look later on in March. Do you enjoy my makeup videos? I know I haven't done them in a while, but it's simply because... They're my least viewed videos. So I enjoy doing them because it gives me a chance, you know, to talk to you. But I hope that there's interest in it. I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer underneath my eye. I don't normally do this on a day-to-day -day basis, but I have four videos that I want to film. Oh, I forgot to bring my little uh, beauty blender sponge in, so we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Just want to hide that darkness under my eyes. I haven't been sleeping that well the last couple of nights because Buddy's been bad at night. He likes to have a conversation at like 2 in the morning. Buddy's my cat. I'm never really good with my left hand. Had to get rid of those breaths. <laughs> I did not like the look. I got my hair cut the other day, but I'm letting the sides grow longer. And I washed it last night because I knew I wanted to fill them. I just find after I get my hair cut... For the first probably five days, it just never styles the way I want it to. So I like a lot of body in the back. That's the best I can do for today. Oh well, it is what it is. So the next thing that I do to recreate that makeup look is I put a single eyeshadow on. And the one that I have been loving is by Laura Mercier. And I think it's like Kiss by a Rose or Kiss a Rose. Something to do but a kiss and a rose. So I just put it all over my mobile lid. It's a really nice pink. I love one and done eyeshadows and I love uh, eyeshadow sticks. And I just keep putting more and more on to get the color that I like. But to me, this is perfect for a quick look or, you know, every day. And then you can use your finger just to you know, pat it in, or I just take like a flat-headed brush and just kind of pat it in. 
So I'm excited. I have lots of uh, fun videos planned, a lot of spring videos planned, spring fashion videos. I'd like to get back to doing makeup videos because I enjoy doing them. I don't know. I, I think I asked you if you like seeing them. That pretty. And that's all I do for my eyes. I think I'm going to put on my setting spray and just by chance, uh, it's by it Cosmetics. I rotate between this one and the Charlotte Tilbury one. In the summertime, like I really prefer to go with like a tinted moisturizer or a, a tinted sunscreen. I find that It Cosmetics CC cream is a, just a bit too thick. I do like the, the newer one, uh, the Healthy Glow. It's not bad. I've never really been a fan of the it Cosmetics CC cream, but I do like their bronzers and their blush. I bought the prettiest Dior blush. I treated myself. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, I just got it. I'm waiting to try everything on camera with you. So maybe this upcoming week I'll film that video. I got some new did I get a new eye? I got a new eyeshadow palette. I tried it once, but I don't like it, but I'll try it again for you and you can tell me what you think. I bought a lot of lip products. I bought a um, couple of Buxom's, I think it's like their cream lip gloss, which I haven't tried. I used to wear their white Russian lip gloss, but not the cream one. I bought a Dior lip oil. Uh, I'll let you know how I feel about that. It's nice, like it's nice as a lip oil, but for the price, there's absolutely no color payoff. But I'll show you that in an upcoming video. And the mascara I'm using is the Chantecai. I love this mascara. You see that I don't curl my eyelashes. I don't prepare them, I don't prime them. And look at my eyelashes. It's amazing what this mascara does. I know it's expensive, but I've had this probably for about three, four months open now. I know you're supposed to get rid of it after you know, a month, but it's way too expensive to throw away because I don't wear it every day. But one of the reasons why I like it is it has a serum in it that helps to strengthen and make your lashes uh, softer and smoother. And just like, look, it just makes it me look like I'm wearing false eyelashes. I don't bother putting mascara on my bottom lashes because then I end up looking like a raccoon. So now for my lips, you know, I am a lip addict. So of course I have to be a little extra when it comes to my lips. I'm just using uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner, which apparently needs to be sharpened and I forgot. So I just go all around the bottom. I don't go near the corner. That's such a pretty color. And then, oh gosh, I can see my skin in my magnifying mirror. It really looks like I've been south, like I have a tan. I just, I love this tinted moisturizer. I just like to color all my lips in. And then I'm using an It Cosmetics uh, Pillow Lips Solid Serum. I've used this so much, I think it's almost done. I just have to use the little bit that's left in there. But I really love this. Cause I love the color, it's perfect for me and it's perfect for spring, but it's just so easy to use. You just like put it on like a crayon. And it, it wears pretty good. It's just so creamy. It actually does feel like there's moisturizer in it. I like to put a lot on. And then because I love lip products, you know what's coming next. I'm gonna put some lip gloss on. This is just a, I think it's called pink champagne. It's just a clear, barely there lip gloss. You don't have to do this step, but I like to do it. And then one last step, my perfume. And the one that I'm wearing today is the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. This is actually their body mist. I love Dior perfumes. And this one is so nice and light for the spring and summer. I want to show you this bracelet I'm wearing. 
Well, actually, my top is new. You'll see it in an upcoming haul because I finally got my Chico's order yesterday and I got Talbot's haul. I love how my eyes turned out. But I'm, I'm loving this new bracelet that I bought on Nordstrom's website, sadly. It's a Kendra Scott. A couple of weeks ago, she had a big sale on, but by the time I figured in like the duties and the shipping to Canada, it was ridiculous what it was gonna cost. So then I thought, oh, I'll just order it from Nordstrom because they had it, but guess that? My plan of buying it from Nordstrom is over. And here's my top. I know you can't see it all, but it has smocking there, which I said I didn't like, but now I do. And a little bit of poof in a sleeve. And it's a horizontal stripe, which normally, you know, I would say as a apple shape, a horizontal stripe is not the most flattering. But I think if you can find them where they're very, very, very small uh, horizontal stripes, it's okay. And this is going to look so good under my jean jacket or even like a navy cardigan. So that's the finished look. That's the look that you've all been asking about. And this is typically the look that I do most of the time when I'm doing my fashion videos because it's really quick and easy. And it just always makes me look put together and I feel like I look like I'm tanned. Have you watched my 16 amazing spring 2023 fashion trends that I think plus size women must try? I'll go meet you over at that video and make sure you're subscribed if you want to see more makeup videos. I'll see you soon. Bye.